Hey guys! In this video we'll be assembling the last official board for the Mark A mini computer, which is the CPU board. This is considered the most complex board and the hardest to debug, but the assembly is pretty straightforward. If you would like to build your own reproduction Mark 8 mini computer, there are still PCB sets available for sale at www.calencheck.com. We will use the parts list on page 4 of the construction manual. Page 27 has the parts layout and will be useful when assembling. On page 46, which is the bugs list, there's one bug that touches the CPU board and it's mentioned in point number 8, which states that IC3 pin 4 may need to be grounded. It also mentions that not all board sets require this. For the sake of completeness, we will install a jumper from pin 4 to ground. Let's go ahead and install all of the jumpers. The CPU board requires quite a few different resistors. Reference the parts list and parts layout sheets when installing the resistors and double check each one for the value and placement. Next, we will install the IC sockets. As usual, ICs can be installed directly into the respective footprints if desired. If installing ICs directly, it might be a good idea to hold off installing IC24, which is the 8008 microprocessor, until verifying that only pin 1 of IC24 has negative 9 volts. I will install the sockets on my board. This board only requires the bottom 41 pin connector and as with the other boards we'll build a 41 pin connector with 3 10 position molos connectors and one 11 position molos connector. There are 5 0.1 microfarad ceramic disc capacitors and one 33 picofarad ceramic disc capacitor. We'll also install the 4 MHz crystal in this step. The final step is to insert the ICs into their respective sockets. Take care when installing the ICs to ensure correct designation and, and orientation. Also, be sure that all pins are inserted cleanly and no pins are bent. I excluded the 808 microprocessor so that we could verify the voltages of all pins. It's a simple test but it can save your expensive microprocessor. I'll connect positive 6 volts, negative 9 volts and ground to the board and test the pins. Only pin 1 shows negative 9 volts so we are good with installing the microprocessor. Let's disconnect power and install it. 
Okay, I think the board is ready for testing. I'll hook it up to the other Mark 8 and run some programs to verify its functionality. The board is working fantastically. In the next video, we'll assemble the backplane for the Marcade and install all the boards we have assembled so far into it. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye bye.